Hi everyone, this is Kelly, your nutritional nerd, bringing you the health news you want to hear for the week of July 17th, 2023. Before we dive into today's topic, I'd like to take a moment to remind you that this information is intended for general purposes only. It is not a substitute for professional medical advice. You should always seek the advice of your medical practitioner in your unique case. Now, let's dive into today's topic, different ways of creating a culture of wellness in your home. Encouraging your family to live a healthy, active, and fulfilled lifestyle has always been important to you. Creating a culture of wellness in your home is something you want to start from a very young age, so your little ones have the best possible start at life. When it comes to looking after yourself and your family, health is a priority. I'm sure there's no question about that. But how can you encourage this type of lifestyle in your own home? Although you might not be able to create this culture overnight, there are a few habits and lifestyle changes that you can put into place now to help you get there. So consider some of the following ideas to get you started. First, try cooking as a family. There's nothing quite like cooking as a family and getting involved in preparing evening meals together. Showing your kids the importance of cooking a healthy dinner and leading by example will allow them to build transferable skills that will be invaluable for the rest of their lives. So whether you're working together to cook up a scrumption Korean barbecue chicken, or you're trying out a brand new dessert recipe. There's many different ways to get everyone in the family involved. And when everyone knows their role at dinner time, it becomes more enjoyable and a communal event. Plus, when kids get involved in picking recipes and preparing healthy meals, they're much more likely to eat them which can be a great way of getting picky eaters to start eating more nutritious foods and expanding their food choices. And if you're not sure what healthy meals the whole family would benefit from, feel free to contact us at happyhuman.com to create a meal plan for you. And I would definitely take personal preferences and time constraints into consideration when doing so. All right, number two, let's move on. Another way of creating a culture of wellness in your home is to exercise together. Taking a run together as a family, um, going for a bike ride or working out at home together. These can be regular occurrences if you want to encourage your family to maintain a healthy and active lifestyle. So when your kids get up in the morning and look forward to their weekend hike with their parents, then you know you have instilled these values in them from a young age. So congratulations. And you'll try to want to find an exercise that everybody enjoys, and then you'll soon get into your own routine. Next up, number three, is to remove excess technology. And in this day and age, this may be a challenge, but... Having televisions in every room of the household might seem like the norm, but you don't have to go with it if it makes you uncomfortable. There's no question that living in the 21st century has exposed us to far more technology than ever before. Today's youth don't know anything different, but with computers in every classroom, laptops in every home, video games galore, and handheld devices at everyone's disposal, we might be coming a little too dependent on tech. And then in the process, we forget how to connect to other human beings or connect to nature. So to create a culture of wellness in your home, consider removing excess technology from the house or limiting its use. I'm not saying there's not a place for technology, but trying to restrict or limit its use would be extremely beneficial. And that will not only help you connect with your family more, but it will also allow you all to be more creative with the activities that you do each and every day. And number four, learn how to meditate. 
Teaching your youngsters the art of meditation from a young age will show them how to grow up to be a well-rounded, calm, and sensitive human being. Now, although meditation may seem like a difficult subject for children to grasp, you'll soon get into the swing of things when you follow a guided app or a website. Meditation can teach your little ones a very useful skill if they ever need it in their day-to-day life. And a great idea is to start your morning routine with a meditation session as a family. And that will allow everyone to feel more grounded and level-headed as you begin each day. Heart math or heart-focused breathing is another option that might be an easier way for youngsters to begin. And if you've never heard of this technique, then message me, kelly at happyhuman.com, and I'll be happy to share. It's a way to reconnect with yourself, to improve your body's ability to manage stress, and to increase emotional resilience. Number five, another way to create a culture of wellness in your home is to practice new skills. Learning and practicing a new skill together as a family is the ideal way to cultivate a sense of wellness in your family. New creative skills like painting, singing, dancing, or sewing can help your kids discover their own hobbies over time. Having a skill or creative outlet is a hugely important life component that can allow kids to de-stress, to relax, and to enjoy time away from other social um, settings. So instead of reaching for the TV remote as soon as you get home from a busy day, hone in on one of your new skills and persuade your kids to do the same. As an added benefit, learning a new skill is an excellent way of exercising your brain and building new brain cells as well. Number six is make conversation. It can be really easy to get stuck in the same old habits during dinner time and evenings at home, but a healthy home needs regular open conversations, especially when you have children living with you. Mental health and well-being will always be at the forefront of your minds if you are willing to enjoy conversations with each other as a family. Opening up about your day can help you learn a lot about each other and will help cultivate a healthy, thriving household. For a couple of final thoughts, as you can see, there are several effective ways to encourage healthy living and create a culture of wellness in your home. And some of them are pretty simple and easy things that you can incorporate into your everyday routine. So whether you're establishing the importance of mental wellness from a young age, or whether you're exercising together every day or every week. There's many different ways to approach this type of lifestyle and many benefits for everyone to experience. So try not to put too much pressure on your loved ones to conform to a particular way of thinking. Allow them to find their pathway in their own time. You can lead by example, certainly, in many ways, and encourage them to make healthy choices that work for them personally. Comment below with your preferred way of creating a culture of wellness for you and your family because I would love to hear your thoughts. Thank you so much for listening. Until next time, stay happy and healthy.